there was a point that my earning was nyc 33k i'm quite an indecisive person in the last two years plus i've gone through a lot i was in a relationship that i thought was going to lead to marriage and it broke off i was like god how you will never see the full picture they graduated officially the 5th of january 2022 my boss said this at the conference god always comes through bro and i got the job have to wear your big boy pants or your big girl pants and make big decisions that might make or mar you i remember doing this youtube video in 2021 speaking about my fears and my worries about graduating and now it's been almost three years down the line and i can say that god has been good honestly there's been ups and downs i can't even lie a lot of ups and downs but mostly there was really no need to worry that much right so in today's video i'll be sharing my fears my experiences recent developments you know things that i've learned in this last two years plus with you all especially the recent graduates watching me so yes if you're interested in this type of video or you know people that are interested send it to them sit down get your popcorn and your drinks and let's ride together Hi guys, my name is Ife Oluwa Oni, a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria, who graduated officially the 5th of January 2022. So now it's been two years plus and there are a lot of things that I've learned, there are a lot of things that I've seen and I just really want to share with you guys, especially the people who recently graduated from universities, you know, just so that you understand that yes, as much as their worries are valid, they are not necessarily important. So here are some lessons that I've learned infused with my experiences. Number one will be that worry does nothing. Now, the major aspects of my worries were, oh, my Christian life, uh, my finances, my relationships with friends, and a romantic relationship. Now, I was also worried about, oh, how is it going to be like spiritually when I leave the confines of university? And you guys, a few months after I left uni, Celebration Church that I was following online opened a branch in CC in Ife. The crowd God works, she gets, and it just like held me and helped me. And then immediately I left Ife, I came to another branch where I am attending right now. Another thing was, I was so scared about how I was going to maintain my friendships. Yes, that has truly really not been easy, right? Despite our ups and downs, we've had arguments, we've had fights, but we're still together, we're still standing. I can say that. All of the friends that I left uni with, like people that were my friends when I left uni are still my friends right now, I believe. Yes. There's really no need to worry. The, the truth is, many times, the things that you are worried about, yes, you might end up facing some of them, but you just realize that, okay, yes, is this it? You just realize that you actually have the strength to conquer and to move to the next phase. If you get what i mean so yes i know that you are worried about the next five years the next two years the next three years the next one year your worry is going to do nothing most times it will just keep you from actually putting in work to get better so number two which is closely related to number one is the fact that you will never have it all figured out now i if you had asked me last year if, where i'll be this year or where i'll be right now I tell you that I would never have said that I would be where I am. Or if you had even told me that this is where I'll be this year or right now, I would have said this is a lie, right? Because I did not envision being in this part or being in this position right now. I didn't envision that I would start a mobile videography business, even though I knew that I was going to be in the media. I didn't envision that I was going to be doing many of the things that I'm doing, basically. And I'll just say one step and another led me to where I am right now. So you will never see the full picture. The best thing will just be to keep taking step by step and working with God. And before you know it, things begin to get more clearer. The picture begins to get brighter and you begin to see more things better than you are seeing them right now as you're graduating. So calm down. You will never have the full picture, but don't let that stop you. Keep going one step at a time and things will make more sense as they go. The third thing that I've learned is that sometimes the things you actually fear end up happening. But you know what? You realize that you are actually strong enough to go through that phase and come out victorious or even come out stronger. Now, many times we're scared, oh, I'm not going to get a job. Oh, 
oh, will this happen? You will I be able to do this? This, this, that. We're scared of a lot of things. And to be honest, I'm not going to say that everything is going to be easy because, like I said, in the last two years plus, I've gone through a lot. Like I've seen lots. I've been there, there's been a, a time in my life where the only any like that we say that was any was NYC 33k, right? Yes, there was a point that my ending was NYC 33k. So, and it was difficult to survive at that point, thanks to human beings that helped. <laughs> but like I was saying, many of the things sometimes the things you fear will happen, but you 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 will come out strong. I know what it is to have zero in my account and you get but I'm here, I'm standing, I'm good. You get so yes, you might go through a lot of difficult phases, but you will come out of them and they will just be part of your stories. The fourth thing I would say is that you would have to make big decisions. Now before I finish uni and even maybe after I finish uni, I I'm, I'm quite an indecisive person, right? When it comes to making decisions, I can be at this spot for several times and you'll be asking me and I'll just keep saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But there are times you'd have to make big decisions. I've had to say no to jobs, like jobs, nine to five jobs. I've had to say no to things. I've had to say yes to things. I've had to say, okay, you know what? I might be scared about going into this path, but if I don't go into it, how will I know? right so i've had to make big decisions i've had to make big decisions i've had to leave places where i was doing well my moving out of ife ile ife ocean state where i graduated was a big decision for me right like leaving my my primary source of income at that point in time was a big decision for me i've had to make several big decisions so dear graduands you would have to wear your big boy pants or your big girl pants and make big decisions that might make or mar you. So you have to be very careful, but you will definitely have to make big decisions because I mean, it comes with being an adult. And that's who you are now. I mean, the fifth thing that I would say, which is closely related to the last point, is the fact that you will make mistakes. I mean, but you will learn, right? You're going to make decisions, like I just said. Some of those decisions will be good, some of them will be bad. Some of those decisions you feel like, oh, I wish I had done this this way. I wish I had done that that way. But you know what? <laughs> it's a part of life. You are not perfect, neither am I. But one thing that helps with making decisions is following the leading of the Holy Spirit, to be honest. And so many times when I'm about to make a decision, I'm just like, God, please, what do I do? God, help me. I want to make a decision. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to do it. What do you want me to do? Right? So that's one thing that would help in reducing the amount of mistakes that you make following the leading of the Holy Spirit will really help you, right? But there are times when you will do things and then you will wish that you did not do them. And then maybe later, you now realize, oh, it's, it's good I didn't do that, right? Sometimes you feel like you actually made a mistake, but later in the end, you, you realize that you actually did not make a mistake. It was just part of the process. So yes, you will make a mistake, you make mistakes, but you will learn and you'll get better. So don't be scared. Go through the process. Now, the final point is, I think, majorly for believers, to be honest, and it's the fact that God always comes through, bro. I can tell you that I've experienced God come through for me in several times. Now, last year, this time last year, I did a video and I was like, oh, many times, it was an Instagram video, and I was like, oh, many times, people are saying, oh, God did this, God did this, God did this, and I'm like, why have I not really, like, experienced those kind of situations, right? I'd experienced, like, two major ones at that point, but now I've seen that it's not necessarily about the big things that we express. Yes, this year I've experienced God come through in big ways, bigger ways than I was able to imagine. But even in some small, small ways, I've just seen the hand of God, to be honest, right? Like I said, I was in a relationship, coming here now, I was in a relationship that I thought was going to lead to marriage and it broke off. And I thought that it was literally going to be the worst time of my life. I thought that, ah, I would like go. I like do it. Yes, yes, I actually did think that. And God just came through like the way I was just like 
yes i still cried though i felt the heartbreak but i saw god triggered and there were times when like when i was going to finish nyc i was asking myself it was like two three months the end of nyc and i was asking myself what's going to happen next because i was um at yeah i was seven collecting the 3k and the school i was seven i was getting paid 15k so one of them together were like was like almost 50k right it was not a lot and i was like okay now nyc is about to end in the next two to three months what's gonna happen to me and then two months to the end of my nyc i got a job in a way that i did not imagine that day i woke up normal there was no interview there was no feeling of form or anything it was just the thing of somebody saying oh if you do this oh we need this and i got the job like i was like god how and then i finished nyc and i'm like okay so what's going to happen now i need something i need to i need it to be upped right and in this space of one week let me use even one week even though it was less than that there were like three job opportunities and i'm like this god this god so like i've just seen god come through in so many ways i started a business it's been less than two months and i've seen god come through so if you're a believer and you are we just graduated there's nothing to worry about god always comes true if you are not a believer this is a sign even though this is not the reason why you should come to god but it's one of the advantages it's one of the perks right the reason why you should come to god is so that you are saved because he died for you right and it's so that you are delivered from the consequences of sin right but it's a peck when you are in god and you follow god it will sort you things will not be smooth but you will see the hand of god in every single thing that you go through and i think a bonus point that i'll just give is the fact that my boss said this at a conference he said if you work with five wise people you become the sixth right and i've also heard apostle joshua selman say it's like if you work with five foolish people you become the sixth you do not count where there are six people right so another thing i'll give to you i'll tell you for free is that work with the kind of people that you want you want to become find yourself in situations or in environments where you see people or where you are constantly around people that will motivate you to do better and that will motivate you to become better because if you are working with people that are small-minded i promise you you become small-minded but if you are working with people that are a eh, this they are doing five things they are doing they are trying, before you know it you begin to see yourself in that line same thing with every aspect of your life right um even your spiritual you want to get better at praying you want to get better at studying the bible you want to be consistent at church going to church work with people that are, that are doing those things effectively efficiently and you just see yourself developing it little by little so yes I, i've talked a lot i believe so i just said all of that to say this dear graduates dear recent graduate do not be scared Things will not always go as planned. There will be ups and downs, but in the end, you are going to see the hand of God. In the end, you will see that you are actually stronger and you see that things are not as bad as you thought they might be. So yeah, I hope I've been able to convince you and not to confuse you that you should not worry about what's going to happen next. So what does what next? Don't be too scared. God has got you. <laughs> But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you were inspired or you were motivated or if this helped you in any way, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave comments in the comment section. Share with other people who recently graduated or maybe have even graduated one, two, three years. And um, yeah, subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. keep going one step at the after at the, hey god oh. <laughs> now when i was in part five i think five years number one will be something that i've been mentioning a while number 